Hey everybody, this is Brad with Southern Valley Landscaping. Uh, check us out, channelmoon.com. Thought I'd post kind of a different video um, on our YouTube channel. Actually, it's going to be the first one, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, uh, I was going to make a video on how to make your own little grass slap shoot blocker. We have one on this Ferris here. Works great. Does a uh, great job mulching up leaves. Obviously, it'll leave the line um, afterwards because there's not individual baffles in the deck. But you can go ahead and open up the grass slap and blow it out. Does great. Uh, so anyway, we picked up a new lawn that has a very small gate for the backyard. And over here on this uh, John Deere, we do not have a grass flap on it yet, and we are going to do this yard tomorrow, so we thought, well, what we'll do is kind of make our own little shoot blocker, <laughs> and we were trying to figure out ways of doing it, and realized I had old, two old license plates, and they actually fit perfectly blocking it. And the only way we have it held up, and we have tested this, so it does work out well. So hear me out, uh, we zip tied it. I know it looks kind of funny. But it will do great, I think, for this uh, this yard. And then we'll go ahead and either, I think we'll order a grass flap on this one. I'm not sure. We know there's some other brands. Uh, this one's kind of a small mower. It's a 36. So it might just be better to get one of the handle uh, ones to flip up and down instead of the pedal. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so we'll see how this works. If anybody was wondering if they needed to make a homemade shoot blocker uh, for any reason, here you go. This, this is one way of doing it. If you got a better way of doing it, we'd love to hear that in the comments. Uh, anyway, hope you all have a great day, and we will see you later. Thanks.